Hello vlog. So today I am doing a little, I don't know, go on the town with me moment because I'm going to be going to Ulta to pick up um, some self tanner because your girl is pale. So I'm going to do my first ever self tanning experience because I wanted to go to the beach a lot this summer, um, but my schedules had some things happen to where that's not as easy to do anymore. Um, so we're fake tanning, uh, which could go really horribly or all right. And I just want like a light tint. I'm not trying to like change colors completely. Um, I just want like a, I've been going in the sun. I was supposed to be on vacation this week, yet I'm here. So we're gonna go to Ulta. I hate my outfit today, by the way. I have this little, like, I don't know, cow top on with these shorts that have this extra little print and then brown bag brown shoes brown glasses and a little like I don't know bun so this is mainly just to keep my hair out of my face but we're gonna go shopping um this isn't a big shopping trip this is more of just a part one of the excursion that will be fake tanning so I'll catch up with y'all soon so first of all this ultimate <laughs> bag matches my outfit no seriously okay hey guys i just got out of ulta and i only got two things in ulta i got this loving tan two hour deluxe express got the medium and like i said i'm not trying to be crazy crazy dark and since i'm not trying to go crazy dark i felt like obviously medium is for me and then i have ulta uh bronzing glove so now i just have to get a compact brush and i have to get a exfoliating scrub and some razors so i could have technically gotten the razors and everything at ulta but i just felt like i don't know like 30 dollars for a pack of four razors just didn't seem right so so I just left, well, first of all, my nails look disgusting, but I'm getting them done today, so just ignore that. But I just left Dollar General. They had these razors there for $5.50 for a pack of five. So we'll see how good they are, but like $30 versus $5.50, so. Then I also got this for shaving my legs with, because I shave my legs with conditioner, and I'm just going to use my little loofah to scrub down. So we are on the way home now. So I am all home now and I have my hair up because I just washed it so I don't want to get it wet again. Um, but I'm about to go shower, use my razor and conditioner and then exfoliate with my loofah so that then I can come back and get tanned. And I think I'm going to tan in like something I don't care about but like still tan in something because I like having the lines but neither here nor there. I'm going to go take a shower and then be right back so so a little update I used the tanner now my face is not tanned um but I do have makeup on so that's what that is but then my body is tan okay like I actually really I mean I look dirty right now because I haven't washed the tan off yet. But I actually really like this tan thus far because I'm not like crazy different shades. I mean, there is a little streakiness on my hands and stuff, but that's because I'm very inexperienced and this is my first time even doing this. But I will say I like it a lot and I, whenever I get home and shower, I think it's gonna be a really nice color, so that's exciting so to continue the vlog for today i am now going to go get my nails done because they're like literally i mean first of all i did a bad job on the tan on the hands so that's pretty bad but then like also like the nails are not doing it so we're gonna go get some nails done um and i don't know what i'm gonna do i like almost always do a nudie pink when I'm actually getting my nails done, like not just like press-ons. Press so I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do, but maybe I'll mix it up. Maybe I'll be exciting. Um, so I'm gonna go get that done. I don't know what's gonna happen with my fake tan and then like doing the massage on my hands, but we'll see. So I will talk to y'all soon. She's back. She's back and she has 
new nails. So these nails I am absolutely obsessed with. I went with pink, of course. First of all, so, okay, I don't even know. Like, when she was doing my nails, I was like, this nail is so crooked. You can't leave me with a nail. I mean, you can, okay. Yeah, I was like, you can't leave me with this nail like this. I didn't say it like that because that's so rude to do someone to like, that's like, I don't know. Like, I feel like when someone's doing your nails, like, it's kind of like if you're obviously not doing them, you might not get like how the process goes. So I usually am like someone that doesn't really say anything. But then when I saw this, I was like, uh, that's really crooked. Like, I can see my finger. But really, actually, anyways... I told her it was crooked and she's like, oh, I just do that for how your hand juts out because when it's like this, don't you see it's straight? And I was like, oh my God. So that's why every time I do my own nails or anybody else does my nails because no one else has ever done this, they come out so weird looking when I do this because my nail is, my finger's crooked. So she makes my fingers look more straight. But I didn't really care. Um, at first I thought she was like, I was like, are you bullshitting me? But I wasn't going to press the issue. Um, and they look cute, honestly. Like now like that I have them done, like from afar, it looks better being that way. Like it does look straight. So that's why you listen to the people that know what they're doing better than you because you're clearly there to get help because <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. So yeah, no, I'm obsessed with these. And with the tan, it's really doing some things for me. So yeah, I think I'm going to go get something from Publix for lunch. And Oh, yeah. Also, do y'all know, like, how much is a good amount to tip at a nail salon? Because my total was $55. So I tipped her $20. I don't know if that is a good tip or not. So... Yeah. And then I fucked up the math in my own head after, like, after figuring out how to... So I gave her 20 as a tip, and then I got even stupider and was like, oh, well, that was supposed to be 80 even though it was a $55 bill and, like, 20 plus. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm gonna go get a salad from Publix, because I'm hungry now. Actually, I'm not hungry, but, like, I should eat, so... Salad's the move. Side note, if these nails end up staying the full two weeks, which I've only had nails one time in my life that lasted the full two weeks. So with the length on these bad boys and my kind of job, I see a week. But if these nails last the two weeks, I think I may have found my permanent nail lady because I've been going to different nail salons trying to like find a good one thought I had one then it was shitty and they like did nothing to help me <laughs> um and so like actually because I like the way she did my nails so much like I like that she put this on crooked because it makes it make more sense when my hands are together like <laughs> I might go back to her because I like her and also, I just looked up on Google, you're supposed to tip 20%, 15 to 20% at a nail salon. So I don't know, I'm just used to paying 70 to $80 for my nails to be done. So when I got a $55 total, I was like, something's not right. So pay your people anyways, it's good to tip better. Get right, get your money right. If you could go out and you can't tip, go home because you can't go out. Sorry, but you can't go out. You don't have the money to tip. You don't have the money to fucking... You, you gotta dip. You know? If you don't have the money to tip, you gotta dip. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna go get lunch for real now. I'm just, like, taking in the vibes. I'm just looking, like, really cute right now, so... Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. So, hit Publix. Um, and I got just a salad. I was gonna get a water, but I just I hate grocery stores. Sometimes I just need to get out. So I got my favorite public salad for my diet right now, um, which is just the salmon salad. It has eggs and stuff, but it doesn't have any dairy. So I really like this one a lot. Um, and I still eat 
fish and chicken and eggs. I just don't eat dairy or red meat right now. So that's cool. And yeah, I'm gonna go home and eat a salad. This is such a fun vlog. It's like a self-care day vlog, but after I eat my salad, I'm gonna get in the shower and wash this off, I think, because it just looks dirty. <laughs> So, I'll see y'all soon. Okay, so I'm home and I am the only one off today. So this is like maybe one of the most boring vlogs now that all the skin and nails are done. But I just finished my salad. I ate a good bit of it. Um, It doesn't look like I ate much, but I ate a good bit. And I think what I'm about to do is just like watch some content drink some water, chill out for a second since I just got home, and then I think I'm gonna start pumping out some content because uh, your girl needs to. So we're gonna be TikToking, we're gonna be editing <laughs> this, uh, and really just chilling. Um, I might have some ice cream because I have some in the freezer and I really, really want some. So that's my plan. Um, yeah. Vlog.